I'm barely getting by. It's that preacher. We gotta do something about him. He's convinced some of my best customers to leave the drink he has. Even Johnny. Nah, Johnny? How's that possible? Saw it with my own eyes, I did. Preachers made Johnny a man of religion. Won't touch the stuff no longer, so he says. Oh, excuse me. Give me a large one, won't you, Georgie? Not just yet. Hey, that's all I can get of him. Ain't you supposed to be making a living to pay for this little chimney sweep? You know I ain't seen Elijah since the hanging. Disappeared he has. I do what I can. Steal what you can is more like it. What of it? Thieves get caught. Even here in the East End, and well, people can get downright nasty. Now, I've treated you good, haven't I? Especially since you ain't got any mum and dad. Been like a father to you, I have. Giving you all this beer and such. Because I like you, Henry. What do you want? Well, it's time you started earning some of that special treatment, Henry. Gather some of your friends. I got a job for you. In the dirt! That's right, Johnny! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Tell him, Johnny! That's where the drinking got me. What a waste. <laughs> You could have poured the beer in me cup, you bloke. Uh, that I could have, lad. And hang me if in a few years I wouldn't be seeing you as I was drunk and nearly dead in the streets while me wife and kids went hungry. No, lad. The drink did nothing for me. It's what Jesus saved me from and what he wants to save you from as well. The place is overflowing, William. We can hardly fit everyone. Yes, I've been thinking about that too. I'm sure God will show us what to do. Everyone in place? Well, what are you waiting for? Nothing. Do you think it was the wind, William? The tent was rather old. Perhaps the ropes... Were cut. What? What do you mean? This ain't no accident. It's a clean cut, see? Someone wanted to stop this service. And I bet I know who is behind it. Come on, lads! It's time to celebrate a job well done. I bet we'll be rid of them for a while. I'm not so sure about that. I think there's going to be trouble. We gotta fight back, Reverend Boo! Yes, yes, we must. Can't let them push us around, can we? No, we can't let them do that. Cos if we do, what will happen to the other poor blokes caught in the drink, eh? Can't let them pub owners stop the gospel, can we, Reverend Boo? If it's a fight they want, a war's what they're gonna get! Do something. This is getting out of hand. War! 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 William! What are you saying? War! William! A war! A war like the East End has never seen! A war! Against sin! Sin? Sin? I? Yes! The sin of drink! And of the vices that kept you and your families in despair and poverty. The sin of greed which drives the pub owners to sell what is harmful to others. This is a war that shall not be won with our fists, clubs or sticks, but rather with weapons that the East End has never seen. Love, kindness, prayer and unselfishness. We shall be soldiers. But we shall be an army under God's banner and leading. We will take their insults and, if need be, their fists. And we shall respond with the weapon of God's choice, his truth and love.
There's the strongest man on the outside. I've got to let the others know. Are you prepared to fight? Yes. Now, we all know they're coming supposedly to rescue the perishing. And there will be some perishing tonight, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> we must be brave! We must stand strong! Oh! Weapons ready! Weapons ready! Weapons! Well? I saw them. They're on their way. But Chester, they ain't armed. No, but we are. <laughs> they ain't coming to hurt nobody. I saw them. They got Bibles. You got clubs. You're just gonna scare them, right? 